Oh man, it's the backyard ufologist. Go. Cool. Han Solo. I'm Captain of Millennium Falcon. What a piece of junk. <gasps> We need your comment. Whoa, this is heavy. General Quarters, Security Condition 3. Security 3, sir. General Quarters 3, Intruder Alert. GQ 3, Intruder Alert. Stretch out with your feelings. Don't underestimate the force. Yeah. Hey, this is David, the Backyard Ufologist, TGIF. It's Friday. I'm going to tear up the microphone. Let's have some fun now. Let's get down. <laughs> well, it's payday for some people, and next Friday is payday for a lot of people, too. So anyway, go out and have a good time if you can find a place to do that with all this crazy stuff going on out there. Well, anyway, make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up, and most of all, comment and take part in what we're seeing here. I've captured uh, some kind of UFO way up in the sky. It looked like a meteor. But meteors don't go up, do they? I don't think so. And we got that, and we have lots of dimensional travelers and orbs at Merkabas, and we're going to show you that. Uh, we've been out there a lot. The skies are just beautiful out there, the fall skies and all the star constellations. Just so much fun going on out there. Uh, it's hard to see for one person, but I do try to catch what I can out there. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you're still subscribed. A lot of people are getting unsubscribed and the notification bell. Make sure you hit that. I have about three videos a week, maybe two. And I do try to bring you some really cool dimensional stuff that's out there. Hello to all my new subscribers that are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Parlor. That's a nice place. And all the people out there, I sure do appreciate you very much. All the kind words. Sharing your pictures. Pardon me. Uh, sharing your pictures also. And it's just a lot of fun. We stick together, our, our little community. And I do appreciate everybody out there. Hey, make sure if you want to advertise your widget or your service, we have great rates. All the information is in the description box to contact me on that. We'll give you some really good rates also. Uh, we're growing very slowly, uh, but you know something? Uh, last week, we lost about 10 subscribers, and then all of a sudden, they come back. I don't know what's going on there. And watch hours, I'm, I've about given up on that. I'll have 700 and something, and then it's up to 800. So I, so I don't know what's going on there. So all you can do, you're at their mercy. So, you know, I've contacted them, asking them what's going on. I never hear from them. So I don't think they're going to talk to you unless you have about 50,000 subscribers. That's the way it looks to me. Anyway, I've heard that from some of the bigger channels. So I'm not going to name any names, that's for sure. But they have told me that. But, you know, that's what it's, it's not really about that. But I do need an income. You know, we got to have an income coming in to keep doing this, you know. And if we get monetized, maybe that'll be just enough to keep us going at least, you know. Nothing is not working, you know what I mean? If you'd like to make a donation, all the information is in the description box, too. We have PayPal and Patreon. Which we would really appreciate that very much, that's for sure. I'm not going to keep you here too long. Just be careful out there. Spread some love and light. I know it's hard sometimes. It's hard for me sometimes. Uh, you know, I am human. Uh, some people think I'm some kind of saint sometimes. But no, you know, some, I've got feelings and opinions too. You know, I, I will voice them when I have to, when I feel like I must stand up and do that. And I'm sure you will too. But I'm trying to arise above all that stuff and be enlightened, even if I'm justified, you know what I mean? But I'm still going to, you know, have self-defense and take care of my friends, family, and myself. Not necessarily in that order, but we will defend ourselves for sure. 
Okay, everyone, uh, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Okay, here's our first video. I want to show you. It's really quick. It's right over here on the right lower side, and I did slow it down. So let's look at it the regular speed right now. And, you know, I think it's a meteor, but it may not be. I've seen this before, and it just comes out of nowhere, and it's going up. What meteors go up? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so check it out see that did you see it right there on the right lower side I'm going to show it to you again and there it goes right there see that's going up that's not coming down so I don't think that's a meteor that was a ship I saw some flashing there before I always see flashing now I slowed it down as slow as I could get it and I zoomed in as m best that I can I've been having a lot of technical problems as you know uh, the people on social media I was telling you about that. It's just been a nightmare. But anyway, I did this, and I can show you. It just comes out of nowhere right there, and it's wobbling a little bit, and it just disappears. It looks like it goes into a portal or something. Um, I really don't know, and I think I've done it one more time here. Let's make sure. Oh, I think I did it two more times here. But anyway, I get it real close, and you can see it come out of nowhere and it just goes into a portal or something. See, there it goes. It's wobbling. It looked like a little saucer there at first, didn't it? Okay, one more time I want to show you this. Uh, isn't the skies just beautiful? The fall time skies are just beautiful, crisp, and the wind has blew all the smoke and haze out. It was just very beautiful. You know, I zoom in and it don't look as good with that Aurora camera. It's not third generation, what can I say? There it goes, right there. I don't think that was a meteor. I believe that was a bona fide UFO right here on the Hammonesset Ley Line. Okay, and here is that, I think, is a cat again. This is like the third time that this big head of a cat has showed up, the feline being. If you can see right here, there's an ear. There's another ear here. It's hard to see, but it's there. And you see the eye, the eye right there, the nose and the mouth. That's some kind of feline being in spiritual form again here on the Hamanessa Ley Line. Uh, this is the third time I've captured this thing, and uh, I do believe it's one of the protectors. It's the feline beings, and they are around. Okay, here's a little more ectoplasm. Looks like a kitty cat right there, kind of. The ears and the eye right there. <laughs> and the body comes around like this. Look at that, and it looks like it's turned around looking at me. It even looks like it's got a hat on. See that hat right there? Isn't that cool? <laughs> it does look like that to me. I don't know. And there's something with its hands on its hips right there looking. Uh, looks like it could be a... A divine feminine or something right there or he may even have it in his mouth uh, taking it away who knows and little entities all around you can barely make them out in the ectoplasm here uh, the little fog that comes by here uh, it really does it just comes down this line every once in a while sometimes it's way up in the trees and in the sky I catch it everywhere and if you've seen my shows you know that Okay, and this is the little snake that flies around. I don't know what this is, but it's always around. Sometimes it's way up in the air. Sometimes it's around the perimeter. Sometimes it's up close like this. And then here's an orb, and you can see the person inside right here with the eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. There's the ears. It comes down, and it's got, like, legs or something sitting there. could be part human, part animal, part extraterrestrial. Who knows? But we do First John 414. We do clearings almost four times a day, even more than that now. It's just gotten so amped up out there. And we keep the malevolent entities at bay. And don't mean that they don't come around, but they don't stick around too long. Because we love to enlighten them and heal them and forgive them and let them uh, Christ conscience ascended masters come and take them to their perfect place and ask them to go in peace so they don't hang around here too long unless they want to get healed and i don't blame them i don't be wanting to get healed too right now and enlightened this time uh, the world is in that's for sure but all kind of little entities you see it is pixelized but you can see the entities that stick out here very easy you can see it very easily this this is not moisture or dust or 
or whatever you want to call it. This is uh, Travelers from Other Dimensions, and I really do believe that. And here's more, another picture. Now, this one's a little bit harder to see, but you can see two eyes, nose, and a mouth, and a big chin right there. Got a Jay Leno chin, it looks like, right there for sure. And there's two eyes, nose, and a mouth. They're kind of small right here, but you can still see it. You can see there's something in here. There's an eye, eye, nose, and a big smile, and two ears right there. You can see that. <laughs> They're smiling. You see this guy right here, eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. Uh, it's just all kind of entities there. And this one, yeah, it's pretty pixelized. It's hard to see, but I see an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. You can see it. If you look at it long enough, you can see all those things. They're there, that's for sure. Some more ectoplasm. There, this thing looks like a music note almost, but look at this thing. It's that snake, I believe, and it changes shapes, and that's what it looks like, and that's flying way up in the air. This is way up in the air because this is where the big pine tree is, and this is sky right here. And this looks like it could be some kind of orb that shape shift, you know, and it looks like a person or entity, a big fat marshmallow man or something there. You can see the eyes, the ears, and the arms coming down, but look what's inside here writing inside see the eye eye nose and the mouth you see the teeth how they're smiling it looks like he may have some kind of hat on or or a crown maybe i don't know and here's his ears and then there's this big long head right here it looks like a skeleton head almost right there see him right next to him and you can barely make it out right there. And then you got one down here, two eyes, nose, and a mouth, and one right here looking through the dark area. Looks like it could be an extraterrestrial, spiritual, uh, travelers, dimension travelers right here on the Haminescent Ley Line. There's one right here, two eyes, nose, and a mouth. Kind of looks like that cat again right there. It does. It really does. Okay. I'm experimenting with of the filters and this is the blue filter to bring this in a little bit closer and clearer look at the spikes coming off of this this is a eye eye nose and a mouth it's some kind of entity you see the little ears right there or horns and then the ears you can see it just pretty as you please and then here's two eyes nose and a mouth that looks like a feline right there you see that and then all kind of little designs, symbols, entities, all in this Merkaba right here in the fairy circle. And let's see what's in this one, if we can see anything. We can't really see too much in here. There's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth in that one. And sometimes they just don't come in that clear. And there's somebody, it looks like it's standing there, very slim, got the hands on the hips and in a cloak or long hair right there. And then there's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. You can see that one? There's an entity there. And you probably see more than I do. It, it's just sometimes it's hard to see, and people will see more and different things than I see. And they point it out, and I go, oh, wow, man, you're right. Wow, that's a trip. So, yeah, it's all kind of crazy stuff here. That's for sure. And I don't know. I, I can't really tell what's in here. If you look at it sideways, there's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there if you flip it around. I usually don't flip them around because I like to just take the picture as they present themselves. And eye, eye, and you can't really tell right in there, but I believe there's a nose and a mouth. And here's an eye and an eye and a mouth. It looks like a little dog or a little fox right there. And here's a person here. Got a hat on. Here's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth. Got a mustache going right there. It's pretty cool. And the big one right here, I don't know what this is. I, I see something right in here, and, and what I thought it was is these things right here are horns that are curled up. And here's an eye, an eye, nose, and a mouth, and here's an ear, and an ear right there. And it kind of looks like that. You see it right there? And the nose, the mouth right there, the two eyes, and the ears, and the horns. And it could be. I believe it may be. And then there's something looking through a window right here. You see the arms coming down. You can see his neck right here. It looks like he's sitting behind a console. Looks like he's got a kitty cat in his lap right there, doesn't it? See that right there? <laughs> and he's probably working the controls. 
of the Merkaba or the technology that they are using. But that's really a trip there. Okay. Another one with the fairy circle. The wind came through here the other day and just really knocked down all the chairs. We've already got them put back up, but I took the picture that night and uh, didn't pick them up yet. But you can see there's an entity here. Eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there. There's an ear, or he's wearing some kind of headphones, and then there's a symbol right there above him. You see that right there? Isn't that cool? So I wanted to show that one. And this is some kind of chevron ship. I see these a lot. They're up high in the sky, and you can see them barely. Uh, but that's some kind of ship right there. Um, they, they show up. They're smaller. I don't know if they're just scout ships or drones or whatever, but they're either extraterrestrial or the Space Force. I don't know which, but it looks spiritual to me. I'm going to say it's extraterrestrial. And, uh, yeah, they show up a lot. They come around a lot. Sometimes they're in spheres. It, it's really a trip. And this one's way up there. And look how clear it came through. You can see the eye, eye, nose, and the mouth right there of some kind of entity right there. They look like animals, but that don't necessarily mean that they are. And you know that. Okay. And this is the vortex, this fairy circle, and that's the garden globe right there reflecting the IR. And let's see what's in this one. Can you see it? Oh, wow, that's a really a trip. You see the eye, eye, nose, and the mouth, and you see the chin and the hair coming down. That's some entity, and there's one right next to them right there. So they're flying around, and they're smiling, and I think they see us, and uh, they, they really smile at us. And this one right here almost looks like Batman. See the two ears right there, and the two eyes, nose, and the mouth, the chin comes around, the arms coming around like that, and some kind of symbol right there. I see a lot of symbols and stuff, and some kind of entity, two eyes, nose, and the mouth. It may be a bird, it looks like, maybe. It could be. And all kind of different entities in this one. You see this guy right here with the mouth, the two eyes, and the head right there, the shoulders coming down. And then there's something beside him or in, and almost in front of him right there on the side of him there. So a lot going on in that orb also. Okay, let's move it on here. Oh, this is cool. And this is in the other fairy circle, and you can't really see much there. I see an eye, an eye, maybe a nose and a mouth right there. It's hard to see eye, eye, nose, and a mouth, but there are entities all in here. You see the little ones right here. It's really pixelized, I know. And this one comes around a lot, and I can identify this one because it's not always in a uh, perfect circle. It's always in an egg circle, and it's always gold, and it always has this energy coming off of it. And I think it's my guardian angel myself. But I did take the uh, light out as much as I could right here. And let me see if I can bring this up. All right, I'm going to bring this up, and I want you to see this. It's, it's kind of hard to see. But I see a guy right here. You see the two eyes, nose, and the mouth. Now, look at this. The mustache is right here. Here's the nose. The eyes right there. The ears and his head comes around like this. Do you see this guy? Let me see if I can take some of the light out of it right there. More light. Oh, okay, yeah. See, this is a, I think it, it's my higher self. Or either my guardian angel right here because people say that looks a lot like me it really resembles me and it kind of trips me out because I see this thing I've been seeing this thing for over two years now and outside and it's always out there it's gold and it travels with another gold one I didn't see that one this time but you see the eye eye nose and the mustache and here is the face right there and then there's another entity in front of him right here eye eye nose looking right there so lots of entities there and you can really see that is a person in that looking through the Merkaba. Now this is a picture that I took above the big pine tree there and you can see there's something right here. It looks like some, some kind of ship or something that's up there and giving a lot of colors off right there. 
And then right here, I don't know what this is. I tried to bring it up, but it looks really weird. It looks like a hat and then two eyes, nose, and a mouth, and this is his shoulders. And I tried to bring it up as close as I could with this. It's really hard to see. This is best I can do. It won't let me bring it up any closer. I wished it would. See, it just won't let me do it. Anyway, it looks like a hat. And it looks like a religious thing, like a pope or a cardinal or something would wear. And that is the best as I could get it right there. But that's what it looks like. And uh, that's it for today. Okay, that was the show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me a long time to bring it to you. I had technical problems, and uh, this is today. Uh, yesterday was the first half of this video, so I had a lot of problems, and uh, you can tell I'm kind of washed out. I was up around 15 hours trying to get this uh, software working again uh, where we could bring you this show. I know it's going to probably be a little buffered and stuff something's going on i don't know i haven't completely fixed it but enough to put out a video drop a video for everyone uh, but it is skipping a little bit and buffering i'm sorry about that i don't know what's going on it was this windows update and everything went to hell and also the the encoder had uh, the obs had a big update too so it changes things and these older computers uh they just don't know what to think about it and they start acting up and uh, it was really hard to get to where I am right now. But nevertheless, you know, we get there. And I do appreciate everybody. I really do. Make sure that you subscribe, like, give a thumbs up. And most of all, be sure to comment and take part in telling what you think that you see. And if you'd like to make a donation, all the information is in the description box below. I have Patreon and PayPal. We do appreciate it. If you can't support us like that, support us by making sure you're still subscribed subscribe hit the notification button and watch some of our videos we do appreciate it uh, we've got a long way to go uh, about 800 more hours before we can even get considered to be in monetized but we really do need to have money for computers for software for all kind of different stuff it all goes into the channel I promise you I'm not going to the Bahamas and and have a smoke or something you know <laughs> no way I'm gonna do that but anyway I do appreciate everybody I am just scattered brain I'm sorry and I'm being a little silly but I appreciate everybody show some love and light it's serious out there right now and it always is but it's just gotten really bad so watch your environment around you take care of your friends and family and yourself and be careful out there because these people have gone crazy all we can do is pray for them use your tongue as your sword spread love and light and we'll see you in a couple of days this is david the backyard ufologist thank you so much for joining us and supporting us so long everybody